Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Alright, now, uh, we'll go in this room. Hey, it's a moogle, but we'll ignore it for now. Open that treasure and you get a lightning staff, and Stiltskin Waltz is in. Well, look who we have here. Hey, buddy, you wanna buy something? This is our first encounter with Stiltskin. Soft, high potion, and ether, all for 333 gil. Now, everything he sells is really a steal. So buy everything for him, from him. Thanks. This will keep me going for another week or so. If you don't buy his stuff, he'll, he won't show up again. There's a letter. I heard that Stiltskin is headed in your direction. Poopo. I've never met him. Tell me what he's like if you meet him, Poopo. Check and see if he travels with a map of, of the entire world and with rare items like the rumor says, Koopa. Stiltskin's my hero. I'll give you this in exchange. Okay, give a letter to Manev. And we'll visit Mog Shop, which is the first Mo Moogle shop. Uh, we'll buy a barbot. And we'll just top off our potions. I think we're good on everything else. Another tent. Alright, and we'll save. Because we're almost done with this disc. We have one more important battle to go through. Yeah, I would fail terribly if this was an Excalibur 2 run. Alright, so what we picked up from that treasure chest was... The Lightning Staff. We learned Thundara and Poison from it. But, I'm not gonna equip that just yet, because I want to learn Blizzara first. And... We're gonna equip that, and then the Oak Staff, probably. No, actually, we might equip that first. Because, uh, Bio is pretty powerful. Race's Wind is, like, a region for everybody. So, that'll help out a lot. Anyways, we're almost done. This is our last pathway. Get ready for heavy dialogue. Jeez, this is terrible. Freya, I'm sorry, from the, but from the looks of this, I don't think the king made it. I don't think Dagger came here. I wonder where she went. And you don't, you just want to leave her alone. Phoebe, let's go see what's over there. Freya! Whoa, damn, she can jump. There's someone inside the palace. What are you waiting for? Get up here. Okay. You make it sound so easy. Guess I'll start here. Come on. Even though we have a monkey tail, can't even jump as good as Freya. Um, okay. Oof. Oh, man. I'm gonna go on ahead. Try and find a way up here. I'll meet you up top. I meet you in... Or, I meet you after I eat food inside palace. Oh, excuse me. Yes, Queena. You would eat all the food. <clears throat> Who is that? Why, it's Queen Brain. I knew she was behind all this. What do you mean you knew? I decided to return to Bermesia because I heard rumors that Brain had set her sights on our kingdom. Then that girl standing next to her must be Beatrix, Alexandria's general. That's Beatrix? The cold-blooded knight who knows no mercy. Beatrix. Oh, God. Beatrix? Yes, Beatrix. I hear there are many fierce warriors out in, in, out in the world, some more powerful than even I. Beatrix of Alexandria, in particular. They say her swordsmanship is the best in the land. Sir Fretley, do you still insist on going on your journey? Yes. Please understand, Freya. Right now, Bermesia is at peace, while other nations are slowly but surely gaining power. I don't know if my spear alone is enough to protect Bermesia. Which is precisely why I must go out into the world. Sir Fratley, I don't think I can live on my own. 
Not without you, Freya. You are going to be fine. Trust your strength and have faith in your destiny. Once I complete my journey around the world, I will return to Bermesia. Then promise me, one more time, that you will return. I promise. Fratley. You never came back. You've left me with nothing but except rumors of your death. I couldn't believe it. I still won't believe it. Never. Not until I witness proof of your death with my own eyes. And I will travel across the world forever if I must. Poor Freya. Are you alright? Yes. I was just thinking about the past. Still can't get over him, huh? Who is that? I find this rain quite pleasant. It feels as though the raindrops are blessing our victory. This vic er, this is a great victory for us. Kuja, your black mage has made this conquest so simple. My only concern now is finding the king of Bermesia. We must take care of him once and for all, and prevent these rats from ever rising up again. Beatrix, what's taking so long? I don't know, your majesty. I've ordered Zone and Thorn to search the perimeter, but there's been no word so far. I will join them and lead the search right away. You're wasting your time. What? Rats often look for new homes when they sense an earthquake. They probably moved to the sandy tree house by now. So you see, it's too late. The king has already turned tail and fled. Sandy tree house? Surely you don't mean Clara. It'll be quite difficult if they escape to Clara. Clara? Unless we can get through that sandstorm, it will be impossible to attack them. Sneaky little rats. Kuja, what do you think? Surely with your powers there must be something you can do. Of course, your majesty. I will present you a marvelous display of my power. I am certain that you will be most pleased. I was wondering if you would gather your troops near Clara. I'm certain those filthy rats will retaliate in full force, and my black mages may not be enough. Sounds like we got trouble. That sinister man. Who is he? Beats me. Never seen him before. Well, sounds like they're going to Clara. I've wondered, or I've always wondered why people call it the City of Illusion. I don't know either. Clara has been remained in isolation for a hundred years. If my people escape to there, they'll be safe. At least for a while. What's this place like? Or what's this place like? The people of Clara are, orig are originally from Bermesia. Long ago, they severed ties with Bermesia over a trivial conflict. Now the kingdom is at peace, shielded by a large sandstorm. Look, there's someone else coming. What is he thinking? Bermesia will never fall. Prepare to die. You wish to fight me, Beatrix of Alexandria? Be Beatrix? I commend your courage, but I will show you no mercy. One of my favorite tracks in the game right here. Hold it! You'll have to deal with us first. We'll take care of this. Go find the king. Protect him with your life. Thank you, Freya. Ha ha ha. I've never been so humiliated in my life. I once killed a hundred knights single-handedly. To me, you two are nothing more than insects. Oh, we fight the last battle of this disc against Beatrix, the General of Alexandria. She's really tough. And somebody may die. If you don't want her using shock, I guess we could try out Magic Hammer. I've never really done it before, so I'm not sure. We can use Lancer. Nothing the game really has. Could steal. She has some pretty nice items, I think. Oh, let's see. Ow. Phoenix down. Blech. We'll focus since I forgot to. Try Lancer again. Oh god. Ow. Shock will pretty much one shot any of your characters. Uh, 
It's not going to help to just sit around, though. I love Vivi's massive defense now, though. Well, let's see. Let's chuck a high potion. Come on, really? That's a bitch move. Alright, use a high potion. And next time, folks, we'll attempt to steal again, and then we'll end up beating Beatrix. So, see you then, folks.